I had a great summation all worked out. Full of some sharp glory. But I'm not gonna read it. I'm here to apologize. I am young and I am inexperienced, but you cannot hold Call Lee Haley responsible for my shortcomings. You see, in all this legal maneuvering, something has gotten lost. And that something is the truth. Now it is incumbent upon us lawyers not just to talk about the truth, but to actually seek it, to find it, to live it. My teacher taught me that. Let's take Dr. Bass, for example. Now, obviously, I would have never knowingly put a convicted felon on the stand. I hope you can believe that. But what is the truth? That he is a disgraced liar? And what if I told you that the woman he was accused of raping was 17, he was 23, that she later became his wife, bore his child, and is still married to the man today? Does that make his testimony more or less true? What is it in us that seeks the truth? Is it our minds or is it our hearts? I set out to prove that a black man could receive a fair trial in the South. That we are all equal in the eyes of the law. That's not the truth. Because the eyes of the law are human eyes, yours and mine. And until we can see each other as equals, justice is never going to be even-handed. It will remain nothing more than a reflection of our own prejudices. So until that day, we have a duty under God seek the truth. Not with our eyes, not with our minds, where fear and hate turn commonality into prejudice, but with our hearts, where we don't know better. I want to tell you a story. I want to ask God to close your eyes while I tell you this story. I want you to listen to me. I want you to listen to yourselves. Go ahead. Close your eyes, please. This is a story about a little girl walking home from the grocery store on a sunny afternoon. I want you to picture this little girl. Suddenly, a truck races up. Two men jump out and grab her. They tie her up and they rip the clothes from her body. they climb on. First one, then the other, raping her. Shattering everything innocent and pure with a vicious thrust in a fog Drunken breath and sweat. And when 
they're done with her. After they kill the tiny womb, murder the chance for her to bear children, to have a life outside of her own. They decide to use her as target practice. They throw full beer cans at her. They throw them so hard, it tears the flesh all the way to her bones. Now comes the hanging. They have a rope to tie a noose. Now imagine the noose pulling tight around her neck. And a sudden blinding jerk. She's pulling through the air and her feet and legs go kicking and they don't find ground. The hanging branch isn't strong enough. It snaps and she falls back to earth. So they pick her up throw her in the back of the truck and drive out to Foggy Creek Bridge and pitch her over the edge some 30 feet down to the creek bottom below. Can you see her? Her raped? Beaten? A broken body? Soaked in their urine, soaked in their semen, soaked in her blood, left to die. Can you see her? I want you to picture that little girl. Now imagine she's white. The fence rests, Your Honor. 